Hey, what's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is a Warhammer 30k showcase video of Magnus the Red, Primark of the Thousand Suns. So it's the Forge World miniature, obviously not the, the 40k Demon one. Um, the Primark one, it came out of Warhammer Fest last year, I believe, um, which is 2017. And again, if you're watching this uh, at some point in the future, it'll be... I think it was Warhammer Fest last year, 2017, for me. So, a little bit of that. Um, super cool miniature. The base, super dynamic. There's an extra little piece, actually, that fits underneath the... Um, uh, like the magic rocks, he's obviously casting some sort of a spell there <clears throat> and there is a piece um, that goes just underneath um, but then once you glue it down, it glues down to Magnus's like the removable base that comes out of the centre and then you can't take Magnus out so I've left that bit off <clears throat> and I'll send it along to the customer um, pet it up so that he can you know, he can make his own choice normally you would ma magnetise that sort of stuff but I haven't this uh, on this time so it's painted with non-metallic metals, so it's just shades of grey, uh, grey, so shades of brown, yellow, white, um, with like brown, green, pink shading, that sort of thing. It's a super, super cool miniature. I've said it, I say it every single time, and I probably will keep saying it. Forge World are killing it. That's the best, they're the best miniatures in the world. You pay through the nose on purpose because they know <coughs> that it's take it or leave it. Um, this miniature is about 80 quid, which is nuts, but I mean, no, whatever, because it is take it or leave it, like you don't have a choice. <laughs> with so much money and anyway this was just they're just so cool um, they're the best that's it um, they're sculpted the best it's the finest quality I guess some people do complain about the quality of Forge World and to be fair like I've used other companies um, like Malifaux their plastics are really really good you know into, uh, the same as Games Workshop in terms of quality at least and there's a few others like that um, but I, I personally do paint Games Workshop on Forge World mostly, I guess, and so that's like, that's why. Um, War Game Exclusive, for example, who did uh, I did a, a female tech priest with, um, which is she's naked basically, she's got like a, a boobies out, <laughs> and some of the resin that, that they produce there is like really high quality as well. But just it's just Forge World in, in general, like it's so detailed, it's so cool, and then the Primarchs. I know in the books the Primarchs are actually like superhuman size and really really big and stuff like that but just the scale in particular it's more of a 54 mil scale and actually you can pack in so much detail with that um, and of course like from the Black Library books and the Horus Heresy novels and stuff like that like, it's just it just encapsulates it perfectly pretty much and so I'm super pleased with all of them it's a pleasure and uh, I, re you know, I mean that it really is a pleasure to paint to paint these so that's it um, like I said super cool base really dynamic Compared to some of the other ones, um, Horus is, is is dynamic, and I do like his pose. But if you look at like Rogel Dawn or um, Rebute Gilliman, I'm not necessarily bothered about the way they're stood or the base. Like Gilliman's, I don't like at all, if I'm honest. And Lorgar's the same. Um, I mean, well, that's three of them out of like the nine or ten that are out at this point. But this one's super super cool. So it's like his, his pose isn't particularly dynamic, no. But the base is awesome. And he's obviously casting some sort of like magic where it's like, you know, drawing all the... He's firing like the rocks at people or something, but I don't know, it's awesome, like warp energy and stuff like that. But super, super cool. And so, like I said, compared to some of them, Gilliman, he's just pointing a sword at this guy. Or, you know, he just... I don't really like it. Lorgar is not very good at all. And even though that is an early one, these are just awesome. So, really, really cool. Uh, I've been posting to Instagram, actually, lately for me. And depending when you're watching this, you know, that'll be at some point in the future. But um, at Powerhouse Miniatures, that's where I am. PowerhouseMiniatures.com, Facebook.com, forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures, and you'll find everything on there. So that's your lot. Appreciate you watching.